everyone, today I'm going to be filming a video on some favorite things that I've been loving recently. And I have quite some stuff, so let's get started. Starting off with clothing favorites, my first clothing favorite has been this camouflage patterned coat. And it's from Forever 21, and it's super cute, and I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But it looks like this, and I've been wearing it a lot recently, especially since it's been getting really cold in New York like 40 degree weather and stuff and I'm not used to, used to that uh, after moving from California. My next favorite has been this long gray sweater dress thing. This is from the Moschino line for Target and it's just this long sweater dress that you wear with tights and like knee socks and it's been super cute and I've been loving it recently. My last sweater favorite has been this little cropped gray, I think it's called eyelash sweater. Um, but I think this is going to be the new fall trend, like these kind of sweaters that have a lot of fuzz on them. Um, but this one is just from Topshop, and it was in my last video, and I've been loving it recently. My next clothing favorite is this little Brandy Melville crop top. I love the color combination of this shirt. It looks much smaller when you hold it up, but on it's not that small. I love this little shirt. Next I have this little tank top. And I love the color combination of this too. I've been into more like striped colored shirt, which is not like me because I always wear black. But um, this one, I don't really know why I like it. I just think it's cute and it's from my sister and I stole it from her, so I don't know where it's from. Three favorites kind of all go together, but they are high-waisted jeans. These ones I've been wearing more than usual. Um, these are just black ones. They are from the PacSun Bullhead Denim denim line. These are my favorite jeans I have ever owned. I also have the same ones in white. And I have another pair of high-waisted jeans, but these are from Topshop. They just look like this. They're kind of kind of wrinkled, but they look like this, and they're super cute, and I love the light wash color that they have. And my only shoe favorite for this month has been these black Doc Martens. I know in my first video I said that I don't wear these a lot, but I take that all back. I've been wearing these every single day. And they're just really good boots. I think that if you're looking for a good quality rain boot or snow boot, I think they work in both. They're waterproof. Um, I definitely recommend getting a pair, and I've been using them constantly. So that is it for clothing favorites. Moving on to beauty favorites. My first beauty favorite has been this MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural Powder in the color medium. And this just kind of mattifies your face and gets rid of any oily like skin and I've been loving this recently. My next beauty favorite is this Bobbi Brown like tinted lip balm and this is in the color powder pink and I think this is going to be the new fall lip color. It's just this like dark pinkish color and I've been wearing it a lot. Next I have two mascaras. The first one is one that was in my last video. It's the number seven extreme length mascara I wanted to say a few more stuff about it. This is probably one of the best mascaras I've ever bought, and it's also like $7 at Dwayne Reed. And if you don't have Dwayne Reed, I'm sure they have it online. It's just the brand number 7. I definitely recommend this mascara for people that have a low budget and really want a good mascara. Next mascara is this Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume Mascara. This is the, I think this is the first makeup product I've ever owned, and I just recently found this again, and I love this mascara, so I recommend this one too if you're looking for a good mascara. My next makeup product is this Bobbi Brown Velvet Plum Eye Palette. This palette has a variety of colors. I have been into more matte eyeshadow lately. I usually use just these two, but the glitter ones are also very nice. Next I have the Chanel Lip Gloss in the color 56 Imaginaire. This was also in my last video. Just a pink lip gloss. Next I have a skincare product. This is the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. Um, I recently have been breaking out a little bit and this has been a miracle worker. You just put it on any blemishes and you leave it on until then you peel it off. But I think it works really well and I love it. This Pond's Dry Skin Cream and this is just a daily moisturizer and it smells so good. But I've been using Pond's for a while and I don't think I will ever stop. My last beauty product is this Fakai Essential Shea Pot de Creme. Um, this is just a leave-in conditioner and it smells so good. Um, but since I have curly hair, after the shower you just scrunch it in when it's wet and it defines your curls. 
That is it for beauty products. Moving on to food, my personal favorite. The first food product I have is this rice orzo peel-off mix from Trader Joe's. This stuff is so good. I don't know how to explain it, but you just need to try it. You just want to have a quick meal. It's really easy to make, and I recommend getting this. Next, I have this Luna Bar. Um, <laughs> this Luna Bar is in chocolate-dipped coconut, and this is my favorite bar I've ever eaten. It is so good. My last two food favorites for this month has been this salted caramel gelato from Trader Joe's. This is a really good ice cream, and also there's speculoos ice cream that I, uh, I had it before, but I ate it all. Um, that is probably the best ice cream ever, the Speculoos one. And I love Trader Joe's ice creams, and shout out to Trader Joe's. Next I have two random kind of favorites. This is an iPhone case with the little alien on it. I've been loving aliens recently, but it's basically like 3D and it pops out. I'm not wearing this on my phone right now because I recently cracked my phone wearing another case. So I don't want to take any risks, so I'm wearing a protective one right now, but when I'm more comfortable, I'll start wearing this one, but I love it. I have this little journal, and it's from when I wrote in 2012, and it's just kind of funny to look back and see how I was and how I changed. So I decided to start again and write more journal topics of my life now, so I can look back in the future and see how I changed. It's just five minutes before you go to bed. It's just a really easy and cute thing to do. Moving on to my last category, my first app is this game called Jolly Jam. It's kind of like Candy Crush, but I've been addicted to it recently. I'm loving is called Snap Up. This is an app for Snapchat. So basically, you can log in to your Snapchat on here, and then you can take pictures from your camera roll and put them on your Snapchat story and add effects and put words and everything, and I think it's really cool. And then another app I've been loving more than usual has been Snapchat. I've had my Snapchat for a long time now. I've been using it more than usual lately. Favorites. My first song favorite is this song called Two Weeks by FKA Twigs. And FKA Twigs is such a goddess. I love her music song and it makes me feel really powerful. <laughs> and I love this song. I love a song by Banks called Beggin' for Thread, and Banks is a really good artist. So that is it for all my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching. Bye!